Jeremiah chapter 4. If thou wilt return, O Israel, saith the Lord, return unto me, and if thou wilt put away thine abominations out of thy sight, then shalt thou not remove. And thou shalt swear the Lord liveth in truth, in judgment, and in righteousness. And the nations shall bless themselves in him, and in him shall they glory. And thou shalt swear. It says, do not swear, but it says here, thou shalt swear. The Lord liveth in truth, in judgment, and in righteousness. And the nation shall bless themselves in him, and in him shall they glory. Amen. For thus saith the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, break up your fallow ground, and sow not among thorns. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord. Take away the foreskins of your heart, ye men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my fury come forth like fire and burn that none can quench it because of the evil of your doings. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord and take away the foreskins of your heart. This is what circumcision is about. Even in Galatians, Paul says, he tells the Galatians and he realizes that they have been infiltrated by Adamite Jews telling them they must be circumcised. And he says, it's going to profit you nothing. And if you circumcise yourself, you're under the law. I do believe he meant the Talmudic law, not the law of God. God is the law. God is righteousness and justice, a pair of justified scales. Declare ye in Judah and publish in Jerusalem and say, Blow ye the trumpet in the land. Cry and gather together and say, Assemble yourselves and let us go to the defense cities. Set up the standard toward Zion. Retire, stay not. For I will bring evil from the north and great destruction. The lion is come up from his thicket and the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. He has gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate and thy city shall be laid waste without an inhabitant. I will bring evil from the north and great destruction. The lion, the lion of the tribe of Judah, which they say is Germany but is the tribe of Dan. Dan is likened to a lion. Dan is the king of the north. For this, gird you with sackcloth, lament and howl, for the fierce anger of the Lord is not turned back from us. And it shall come to pass at that day, saith the Lord, that the heart of the king shall perish, and the heart of the princes, and the priests shall be astonished, and the prophets shall wonder. Wonder after the beast. The thing that hath been shall be again. There is no new thing under the sun. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, surely thou hast greatly deceived this people and Jerusalem, saying, Ye shall have peace, whereas the sword reacheth unto the soul. At that time shall it be said to this people and to Jerusalem, a dry wind of high places in the wilderness toward the daughter of my people, not to fan nor to cleanse. Even a full wind from those places shall come unto me. Now also will I give sentence against them. And this wind will not be coming from turbans. which is not really wind at all, but a suction. Even an electricity, even a full wind from those places shall come unto me. Now also will I give sentence against them. Behold, he shall come up as clouds, and his chariot shall be as a whirlwind. His horses are swifter than eagles. Woe unto us. 
for we are spoiled. King of the North. O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness, that thou mayest be saved. How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? For a voice declareth from Dan, and publisheth affliction from Mount Ephraim. Make ye mention to the nations, behold, publish against Jerusalem that watchers come from a far country and give out their voice against the cities of Judah. A voice declareth from Dan and publisheth affliction from Mount Ephraim. Read Judges 18. Dan told Ephraim to mind his old business or otherwise he'd kill him with the sword, the edge of the sword. That's Dan, and the conflict is Dan, Ephraim, amongst others, of course. As keepers of a field are they against her roundabout, because she hath been rebellious against me. This is the raised fist, this pointing index finger up and down, as above, so below. They want to overturn. They want the scales to go in the other direction, the pendulum to swing back. Thy way and thy doings have procured these things unto thee. This is thy wickedness, because it is bitter, because it reacheth unto thine heart. My bowels, my bowels, I am pained at my very heart. My heart maketh a noise in me. I cannot hold my peace, because thou hast heard, O my soul, the sound of the trumpet, the alarm of war. Destruction upon destruction is cried, for the whole land is spoiled. Suddenly are my tents Spoiled and my curtains in a moment. Bam. How long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. I beheld the earth, and lo, it was out form and without form and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. Here we've got Genesis. My people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sought as children, and they have no understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. I beheld the earth, and lo, it was without form and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. Cataclysms, calamities, catastrophes. I beheld the mountains and then creation. I beheld the mountains and lo, they trembled and all the hills moved lightly. Sounds to me like an earthquake, maybe. I beheld and lo, there was no man and all the birds of the heavens were fled. I beheld and lo, the fruitful place was a wilderness and all the cities thereof were broken down in the presence of the Lord and by his fierce anger. For thus hath the Lord said, The whole land shall be desolate, yet will I not make a full end. For this shall the earth mourn and the heavens above be black. Because I have spoken it, I have proposed it, I will not repent, neither will I turn back from it. The whole city shall flee for the noise of the horsemen and bowmen, the horsemen of Dan. Dan in verse 15, Dan in verse 29, the horsemen of the Assyria, tribe of Dan, king of the north, and bowmen, and they shall go into thickets and climb up on the rocks. Every city shall be forsaken, and not a man dwell therein. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? Though thou clovest thyself with crimson, though thou deckest thy, thyself with ornaments of gold, though thou rentest thy face with painting. Got to turn the page here, pardon me. In vain shalt thou make thyself fair. Thy lovers will despise thee, they will seek thy life. 
for I have heard a voice as of a woman in travail. Rachel. And the anguish as of her that bringeth forth her first child. The voice of the daughter of Zion that bewaileth herself, that spreadeth her hands, saying, Woe is me now, for my soul is wearied because of murderers. <laughs>